Why is this so serious when it comes to other star races, who are not even involved in these evil deeds? Well, it's serious because these star races can't do much about it as long as we humans are in agreement with the Syrians, whether it's wittingly or unwittingly is irrelevant. The Syrians are using the fire to boost their own power to conquer the universe, and many star races see this happen and feel quite powerless until we humans decided we've had enough. The observing star races could hypothetically go to war against the Syrians and challenge their power, and I have that, that feeling that one day they will join together in an effort to do so. But they still want to give humanity a last chance to wake up and repent. That could more or less in an instant reduce the Syrian power remarkably, and the rest of the star races could more easily win a gigantic war like that. The problem is, humans would be destroyed in a world like that. We wouldn't be able to withstand that kind of energy. This whole thing has gone too far. The Syrian warlords have gained a lot of strength and power since they took over this planet. This being their most important outpost at this point in time, because the females here are invaluable for them. To go to war against the Syrians now would suddenly destroy both the living library and all human life on this planet. And these star races out there think both twice and three times before they'll do that. Besides, the beings of higher order are against it. This, too, is giving the star races hope. If these beings of higher order are telling them to hold back, must mean there is still a change that humankind will make it. They may think. But I'm sure they won't wait forever.